The holidays are here, and for some of us, that means Christmas parties and a time to be festive. Or if you're me, it means a week off work. Yay! The makeup was inspired by a cheap kids mask I found, and I created the dress just to match this look. After moisturizing your face, begin by tracing out the shape of the mask using a white eyeliner. The reason I'm using white is because it's easy to rub off if you make a mistake. Once you're happy with the shape, start applying foundation to the outside of your mask. Then set with a powder. Next, apply a pink to rosy blush as close to the mask as possible, but don't worry if you go over the lines a little. Then to help add better definition, apply a touch of bronzer. Now take a red lip liner and trace over the white liner from before. Don't worry about getting it exactly on, it's okay for the white liner to show a little bit, we'll be fixing it up later. Now fill in the mask with a red cream product that's safe to use around the eyes. You may need to fill in any gaps with the lip liner from before. Taking a red shimmery pigment, start to gently set the red cream. This also helps to add a little bit of sheen and depth to the mask. Pat the colour on gently. It's okay to buff it in a little, but be very gentle not to move the red cream. more dimension to the mask, start by shading some parts of the mask with a gold eyeshadow powder. Make sure the gold fades into the red, we want a really soft gradient effect. Time to start adding a bit of design to the mask. Taking a gold cream, start drawing patterns on the mask. You may need to go over the lines a few times to increase the pigmentation, depending on the type of gold cream you're using. Before we continue, take a black gel liner and with a very tiny amount, try to darken the area around your eye. I don't want to black out the entire area, just want to darken it a little. And honestly, if I had black eyeshadow powder or even a darker red eyeshadow powder, I would have used that instead. And while you're at it, line and wing out your upper lash line. Back to the gold lines. To make the lines really stand out, apply some gold glitter directly on top. You need to go slow as we can't afford to have too much fallout. It's much more difficult to remove fallout if it lands directly on the mask. With a black eyeliner pencil, line your waterline. Then apply a generous coat of black mascara. Now taking a red lipstick to a lip brush, start drawing additional designs around the gold. Now the reason I'm using red lipstick is one, the pigmentation is much stronger, and two, it won't dry out, so it will allow the red glitter I'm about to put on adhere to it perfectly. Make sure to do the same to the other side of the mask. Once that's done, outline the mask with a gold eyeliner. This time, make sure you are covering up every last bit of the white liner from before. Then finish off the eyes with some demi false lashes. I'm not using full false lashes as I just want the lashes to accent my eyes, not cover up the mask. Now to finish off the mask, I'm going to apply some mini gold gems with a wet cotton bud. And make sure to use clear eyelash glue for this. I wasn't terribly organised for the shoot and only brought dark tone eyelash glue with me. Time for the lips. Line and fill in your lips with the lip liner from before. Coat your lips with the lipstick and top off with some red gloss. The look is complete. 
Hmm, all dressed up and nowhere to go. Thanks for watching another chapter from my book of fables. Happy holidays! Thank you.